Thank you for joining the Algonquin College Accessibility Tutorials. Today we will be discussing how to create accessible Microsoft Word documents. True headings are a feature included in Word that provide a means to create a meaningful sequence for users of assistive technology rather than just centered or bolded text. Here we have my script for the accessibility in Microsoft Office Suite presentations without any headings. To make it easier to navigate, I'm going to add true headings. To make text into a heading, select the text and then choose the heading type you'd like from the Quick Styles Gallery in the Styles group of the Home tab. To view the Navigation tab, click on the View tab and then check the Navigation pane box in the Show group. The navigation pane will display all your headings and, as the name suggests, allow you to navigate easily throughout your document. Make sure that you use the headings in the correct order, so that Heading 2 is the subheading of Heading 1. After inputting true headings, creating a table of contents is easy. A table of contents is just another tool to create structure and easy navigation for your Word document. Start by clicking at the beginning of your document, where the table of contents will be. Then scroll up to the References tab, and then Table of Contents. You can choose any style you'd like from the drop-down menu that appears. A table of contents is inserted based on the headings that you included. Name styles are also found in the Quick Styles Gallery. If you click on the drop-down arrow, you will see options near the end, such as Quote and Book Title. So, say this little bit of text here required emphasis. We'll select the text and then go find emphasis in the Quick Styles Gallery. There we go. Name styles provide meaning and consistency in your formatting and are applied in the same way as true headings. If you wish, you can modify any of the headings or name styles using the Change Styles drop down menu. Next, we will look at hyperlinks. When including hyperlinks in your document, remember that hyperlinks should provide context for the link rather than just the URL. So, for example, if you wanted to add a link to the Microsoft Office website, avoid writing this, click here to access the Microsoft Office website with the link, or this, for more information about Microsoft tools, click here. Instead, for more information about Microsoft tools, please visit the Microsoft Office website is the best way to incorporate a hyperlink. Avoid creating blank spaces. Extra spaces, tabs, and empty paragraphs may be perceived as blanks by people using screen readers. After hearing blank several times, those users may think that they have reached the end of the information. Instead, use formatting, indenting, and styles to create white space. To use formatting to add white space around a paragraph, remove any existing white space around the paragraph. Select the text and then right click and choose paragraph. Select values for indentation and spacing to create white space. Also, if you would like to start a new page at the end of your paragraph, go to the insert tab and click on page break in the pages group. Whenever you insert an object into Word, it defaults to being an inline object. Inline objects keep their position on the page relative to a portion of text. On the other hand, floating objects retain their position based on the page and should be avoided. To ensure that your objects are properly positioned, select the object and click the Page Layout tab. Select Position in the Arrange group and then scroll to Inline with Text. You can also choose to wrap either in line with text or top and bottom. It includes many features that can aid in structuring documents to make them accessible. Try using true bulleted and numbered lists when creating lists by clicking the icons in the paragraph group of the Home tab. And also try numbering your pages to allow for easy navigation and referencing. Select the Insert tab and find the Header and Footer group. Click the Page Number drop-down menu to choose from the various styles of page numbering available. Thank you for joining us in learning how to create accessible Word documents.